Ooh, the weather's different today. A lot cooler this afternoon. I was out here looking over the squash. Got to thinking about something I'd told somebody a couple months ago. They were talking about squash, and I said, do you prune your squash? And they said, no, what do you mean? How do you prune squash? And I gave them the basic instruction where you you cut off the end where it comes out of the ground. You don't never cut past where the bloom is. Try not to. And you don't cut any that's laying across the ground. Because that's what's holding your plant. I'll show that in a minute. Don't cut more than 50%. But I've been pruning mine. You can see there where the root sticking up. Or where the base is sticking up from the roots. The elms have been cut back. These are not hardly big enough. Do much too, but... I thought I'd look and see if I had a plant left I could demonstrate on. There's a channel that was interested. I have no real science about this. I think it helps with bug con control because it cuts off some of the limbs and some of the leaves that they can land on. This one looks pretty good here. But you don't want to cut the ones that's running at an angle. You want to cut the ones that's sticking up. Once it's touching the ground, running across the ground, it's holding your plant up. It actually balances the plant. Yeah, they look wild. Some of them are. Some of them run wild. I especially cut the oddballs. It runs backwards through all of them. I try not to cut any around where it's actually putting on squash, though. Let me get in here with this one. See if I can do this one-handed here. This one I hadn't trimmed. I'm going to use a pair of scissors because I'm one-handed holding the camera. I use a sharp knife or whatever. A few of these out of the way where you can see. Right. You see this in here. It's actually going out against the ground. It's holding pressure. This one is a little bit. You can see where it's actually broke here. It's holding holding the plant straight, especially when the wind blows. This one I'm going to take out. I didn't take that many. There ain't no bloom right here. The bloom's done gone. It was a male bloom. I pruned this one. I started on this one. It hadn't had it since it's grown a few days. You don't have to do it all the time, but like I said, I think it helps with the bug control because you're giving them less leaves to lay eggs on. I hadn't had a vine borer to bother me by doing this. They don't crawl down the tubes even though they are open. I've never had that problem. I ain't going to say they won't. Mongo's got to be in the video. This is a short video How what I do. You can see where I clipped them off. I've got one somewhere. I actually clipped it where it would lay over. It was standing straight up. I'm working on it to slowly lay it down. I don't want it to break. This one here. Now I cut the limbs off the bottom of it. Because this thing was standing up almost a foot tall. Which I have seen people grow squash vertically. If I can get in there enough you can see. But it's sitting on that rock right now. I'm trying to ease it down slowly. I don't want it to break over. Sometimes they can be brittle and break off. See if I can find another to demonstrate here. This one hadn't had none in a while. I'm just going to take this one out. This one out. I'm going to take this one because this one's still holding. It's a near one. This one's it's got a leg here. I'm going to probably take that one. And it's less limbs and leaves for it to support too. If it ain't bearing fruit, it's just making shade. That's all it's really doing. There ain't no fruit back there. You don't have to worry about it making shade. Now, I have done this for a few years. I've seen them get six feet long across the ground after trimming them. Like this one right here. You can see I've trimmed it pretty good at times. As it lays over, I just keep trimming. I think it helps it because it gives it less to feed all the time. But that's basically what I do. Every few days... 
or whatever it takes. I'll come here and check them. It doesn't look, look like a male bloom right there. I won't mess with that for a day or two. I'll leave that in too. If you got one of these, if I can find one in here, sometimes you'll you'll get a limb and they'll run backwards and they'll twist around under everything. It's probably not supporting anything. You don't think about them limbs being so supportive of the plant. It's a balancing act. This is a good example. You see the limbs that one's against the ground, that one's against the ground. This one's hoping. These are going to catch it as they fall. As it falls that direction. You can tell it's leaning. It's slowly going to lay down. But it's got limbs in place to hold it. Good light breeze, they'll flow back and forth. Hard breeze, it will blow them over anyway, because they are brittle. They just can't hold up to a really hard wind. But what I do every year, I kept, I kept squash to September last year, from March to September. Some of the longest plants I ever had. Wasn't very many leaves or limbs on them when I got done, but we've had a world of squash, I have to say, even in the hottest of weather. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good weekend. God bless.